<laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> Hello, Erie and elsewhere. <laughs> Wait for a couple minutes to get people to come on. Anybody else comment about your music choices? No. No, they just said they, they were they were fun. They were fun. I did listen to them, though. Uh, uh, yeah, I heard one or two on the radio today, just regular. Did you really? And they were, they were just played normal, and all I could think of is, okay, this is in regards to coronavirus now. Uh... <coughs> Seven thirty. There we go. Ready? Hey, Susie, how are you? Evelyn. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> it's been a while. Well. Okay. So, welcome <laughs> to our. This is five days in a row. Five days in a row. We don't do anything five days in a row. Wow. Well, During the winter time, we'll do this five days in a row. But come springtime, I don't know. It's warm weather, summertime. I, I don't know what it looks be like. some outside activities going on. Yeah, so. so we have our blinds shut because, like, I, we have a, a ring light, which if Jerry had his glasses on, you'd be able to see a reflection yeah, <laughs> in his glasses. Stuff. But um, So we have a ring light on. On the other side of the ring light behind, is on that sun. way, is the sun. But I, It's too blinding. Yeah. So, so it's like one or the other. Yeah. And I wasn't sure when we were going to... Uh, um, yeah, when the sun was going to go down, so I figured, well, we'll just use artificial light. But it's a convenient <gasps> spot for us to be here, so... Yeah. Soon we'll, we'll go outside, <clears throat> because we're distanced six feet from our neighbors, at least, <laughs> right now. All right, what do you got today? What are we uh, going with? I was excited <clears throat> to hear that there were no new cases in Erie <clears throat> County. Yay. Um, I don't know about the other counties, except for Warren, because and we Crawford. have a very good friend... Yeah, Warren mm -hmm. has its first case. Crawford too have its, Crawford. has its first case. Yep. Yeah, um, Avalon, What what about down there? Are you guys down in uh, the Franklin area? If you're if you're still on your, have to let us know if you guys have any cases down there. We're praying for everybody um, all the time. Praying for families um, who uh, have a loved one that might have tested positive. Praying for first responders. Praying for our scientists and the chemists and yeah, the whole the whole country, um, really, for the most part. Uh, and Jerry's going to talk a little bit about that and kind of tie tie that in with um, the Annunciation. So happy feast, happy feast Yay. of the Annunciation. Um, we're going to do Go switch mare, mare. it up a little bit. And um, usually at seven forty five, we pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet. But um, kind of in union with uh, the request of the bishop, we're going to pray um, in honor of Our Lady. Today we're going to pray the Litany of Mary, and um, I did put a link in the top of the window to the Litany of Mary that we're going to be using. That way you can join us. Yeah, um, so we'll, we'll do that um, at 745. And then instead of uh, ending with the prayer that we've been using um, for Our Lady Guadalupe, I have noticed that um, several people are logging on and watching. Um, and uh, who are not Catholic, and we are, I'm just so happy that this feed is reaching people outside of our Catholic tradition, sure. and um, we've all been invited by the Pope to pray um, the Our Father, the Lord's Prayer, so we're going to we'll end every night with, with the Lord's Prayer, that way everybody can join in together. Um, what did I want to Oh, so there's this really cool website called churchpop.com, and I'm sure um, for those of you that are on or um, you're familiar with it, but um, Church Pop had reported today about another uh, internet crash. Um, I guess back in 2016 they reported that there's like, there was a new <coughs> prayer app called, um, where is it at? Uh, Pray, the Catholic Novena app, and Church Pop Today had just reported that the app crashed because so many people were logging in and um, praying novenas, which was awesome, but they just said the servers that they were using couldn't handle the activity and dropped it for several hours, so they had to, like, yeah, 
redo their database and, and move over to uh, some other servers. And they're back up and running. And um, they said, now it's five times as powerful. So if, I don't know if it's an Android or um, an I, uh, what, iPad or iPhone, Mac, Apple product, but um, if you don't have it, get it. Uh, so it's called Pray, the Catholic Novena app. And um, yeah, let's just start praying um, novenas for to end the pandemic. Um, and then also speaking of church pop in ways that people can reach out. Like, so we talked earlier or a couple of days ago how um, so many churches were live streaming their um, masses and church services that we we done broke the internet. Um, <laughs> so church pop, Dennis, the menace. Dennis, yeah. So church pop also came up um, with another way to kind of build community online. And they're doing their very first church pop virtual meet meet up. So if you are into virtual virtual reality, if you're into gaming, or if you have a kid that's into gaming and they have one of those little like Oculus, um, they said that you can log in. And I actually um, put the church meetup link in the window so you can check that out. You have to actually. Um, uh, sign up and register. It's free. You can register for the meetup through... Are you laughing at me? Not yet, but I, I'm just happy these jokes come into my mind. Uh, just as you're going here, they're just coming left and right. Gosh. So go right ahead. <laughs> they're going to be dad jokes, so don't get excited. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I love you. Uh, so this is, if you have like the Oculus Quest, Oculus Rift, Oculus Go, I don't even know what these things are. Um, but anyways... If you have a VR headset, you're going to be able to participate, and there's other ways to participate even if you don't. You have to um, register for free through Eventbrite, and that link is listed. It, it might be kind of a really cool thing to do. It says um, they're going to talk a little bit about Church Pop and its history, um, do a little praying together, plus they are also promising uh, chats, shooting some hoops, and having a snowball fight might be worth logging in it's it's free like i said you have to register because i think they're only it's like a limited however they do that um, sounds like a youth group sounds like a youth yes. group and then also church pop it sounds like leftovers from youth group meeting that's the first yeah. thing you, you, church pop yeah sounds like something that you would church get pop. from <laughs> youth group leftovers that, that's you true know? They're still good for the next week, though, and the week after, if it doesn't oh get gosh. used. Two liter bottles, alas, so, you know, if the kids don't go through it, it's good forever. Don't buy new stuff every week. Just have, just saying. <laughs> yeah, well, look at all, all the money that this is saving all, youth leaders right we're now. We're all there. penny pinching right now because, you know, we just don't have the monies coming into the churches. Yes. Um, so that was on the news tonight, actually. The churches still have the bills, so... You know. Send in your envelopes send if you register. Envelopes. Send in those envelopes. <laughs> Not empty. That would that would be cool. cool. Um, so yeah, and if you're looking for some other uh, interesting tidbits or fun stuff, a lot of this uh, I hear on um, if you if you're on Twitter, use hashtag Catholic Twitter, and you get all kinds of stuff. Um, of course, there's always going to be those little. Uh, political exchanges and negativity, but a lot of times there's a lot of really great information, a lot of great links. And another place that I've been going lately is um, Reddit, and if you're not familiar with that, it's like the old-fashioned, um, I shouldn't say old-fashioned, but the original bulletin board system um, where there's all kinds of different groups that you can join, chats, and uh, there's there's a Catholic chat, um, so you can, you can go on that. I, I'm actually joined a Russian blue group for my cat. <laughs> okay, that's the cat. <laughs> it's not a dating site. Um, <laughs> who knows? Uh, I'll be honest with you. Just stop. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I have a hard enough time. I'm just stuck with Facebook. I'm old. I'm just Facebook and LinkedIn. That's about it. You're on LinkedIn? Twitter. Why are you, you know, on LinkedIn? You have a job. I have <laughs> friends. You've got two jobs. Friends. Okay. I'm not I'm not the t up on current markets in that social media area there. Just not me. Mm. Okay. All right. So anyway, <clears throat> today 
Uh, yesterday I said I was going to uh, talk a little bit about the book Father Capon, um, the miracle of Father Capon. Actually, he will hopefully be one of the next um, saints in the United States. He's actually originally from Kansas, and he was in World War II and re-enlisted for the Korean War, and <clears throat> he he was, had such a heart. He just had... He carried one of his soldiers 60 miles um, after they got caught and they were sent to a concentration camp. And he had such a heart for the people. Um, he told God, yes, that's what we're being called to do too. But he helped these folks with their morale. He took care of them he physically. I mean, everything from picking lice off of them to bandaging them up. Um, you name it, he changed their morale, and he overall they say he saved thousands of people in the war. Um, now, he also had two miracles, and these were already okayed um, by the, who is it? It's not the Holy See. Anyone, anyway, I'm just drawing a blank right now. Anyway, these, uh, they did up. get the okay. I think they had to have, uh, there were six different um six different men, priests, that have to overlook these kind of things. And it did pass all that. So hopefully in the near future, you will see Father Emil Capon become a saint. And uh, that would be a, it's a really good book. It's an easy read. Um, but there's some really good stories in here too. But the uh, main thing is be like Father Capon and say yes during, like now we're in, an, we're in a war. We're in a war against... COVID-19 coronavirus and you have opportunities to be like him. He's He was a hero. We don't look to be heroes. He just lived it. He didn't go around trying to be one. He was one. He helped his neighbors. He helped his friends and um, it's great stories. Yes, there. Aaron. <laughs> How he, he actually used to steal from the Chinese to feed the men and he did he was their best thief. He had God watching over him, so um, don't don't steal. Yeah, don't steal. From, may, maybe if you're in a POW camp or something like that, mm -hmm. that's okay. This is um, a great. I think this is a really great <coughs> book if you have um, boys, like young boys or older teens. Um, Even somebody that was, was already really in the service. Um, at great stuff. Uh, you know, he had the, won the Congressional Medal of Honor. Um, it takes a long time to win these kind of things, but just to show that he had a heart to serve and he did what he was called to do by God. And the men were amazed just by his actions. And that was a good time for us to help each other out too. Um, what are your actions doing to help people in your community? Yeah, I heard um, someplace online, and I don't remember where I heard it from, um, but uh, some one of the communities um, here in the U.S. had a teddy bear hunt. I, don't, I didn't tell you this. They had a teddy bear hunt um, for the kids in their neighborhood. People were asked to put a teddy bear someplace in their window. Mm -hmm. And then as you were walking, and of course keeping six feet distance and social distancing, but as you would walk your children, um, you would try to find the teddy bears in the windows of everybody's houses. So there's been some really, really, really cool um, ways that, I don't know, people are really thinking outside of the box. Um, I thought to you were going to say it went grizzly, but go ahead. Told you they were dad jokes. <laughs> don't get excited. Um, what else? Oh, so that kind of feeds right in with the Annunciation that we're celebrating today. So happy feast um, today. I don't know, how, was anybody able to um, log in at noon and pray with the, the bishop? Our Father? Yeah, well, he did. <clears throat> or watch the Pope. I didn't watch the Pope. I watched the bishop. I watched the bishop. Um, but anyways, so at noon today, the bishop, he prayed the Our Father as the Pope had asked, but then he led everyone in the rosary, and then he did the litany of Mary. So it was kind of neat to see. I think they had... Um, I don't know, almost 500, maybe a little over 500 people that were watching at different oh, points, um, which was, yeah, kind of awesome. 
So, hey, Laurie, hey, Angie, Aaron, Ramey. If I'm missing anybody, it's because you guys are scrolling. Um, it's good to see. Like, look at all of our St. Lawrence peeps. Like, <laughs> it's like old times. Hi, gang. I wish I could see you guys. We see your names. Um, you can see your little pictures right there beside you. Well, they're tiny. But, yeah. I see you. We know you guys. Um what was I going to say? Oh, okay. So up, we're going to pray the litany of Mary and the link for the uh, litany that we're going to pray. We have listed up in the window. Um, we have it printed out here. So you might want to, I don't know if you want to open up a second window um, and then kind of read while you, know, you don't have to watch us while we're, we're praying this. But um, after we pray this, then we'll kind of get back on and um, we'll close with an Our Father in a little bit. But yeah, Jerry's going to lead us here. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven. Have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world. Have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God. Have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. For the next couple, the, the response will be pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace, pray for us. Mother Most Pure, pray for us. Mother Most Chaste, pray for us. Mother Inviolate, pray, pray for us. Mother Undefiled, pray for us. Mother Most Amiable, Pray for us. Mother most admirable. Pray for us. Mother of good counsel. Pray for us. Mother of our creator. Pray for us. Mother of our savior. Pray for us. Virgin most prudent. Pray for us. Virgin most venerable. Pray for us. Virgin most renowned. Pray for us. Virgin most powerful. Pray for us. Virgin most merciful. Pray for us. Virgin most faithful. Pray for us. Mirror of justice. Pray for us. Seat of wisdom. Pray for us. Cause of our joy. Pray for us. Spiritual vessel. Pray for us. Vessel of honor. Pray for us. Singular vessel of devotion. Pray for us. Mystical rose. Pray for us. Tower of David. Pray for us. Tower of ivory. Pray for us. House of gold. Pray for us. Ark of the Covenant. Pray for us. Gate of Heaven. Pray for us. Morning Star. Pray for us. Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Refuge of Sinners. Pray for us. Comforter of the Afflicted. Pray for us. Help of Christians. Pray for us. Queen of Angels. Pray for us. Queen of Patriarchs. Pray for us. Queen of Prophets. Pray for us. Queen of Apostles. Pray for us. Queen of Martyrs. Pray for us. Queen of Confessors. Pray for us. Queen of Virgins. Pray for us. Queen of All Saints. Pray for us. Queen Conceived Without Original Sin. Pray for us. Queen Assumed Into Heaven. Pray for us. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary. Pray for us. Queen of Families. Pray for us. Queen of Peace. Pray for us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Grant, we beseech you, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in continual health of mind and body, and by the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, may we be delivered from present sorrow to delight and joy eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 And thank you all for joining us. We still got another 10 minutes to go here. Yeah. Um, you guys, uh, let us know again if there's any more intercessions that we can uh, put in for our prayers. And um, 
Yeah, after, um, usually when we, we end live, um, we'll get ready for bed, but then we do evening prayer together, and we take up all of your intentions, whatever you typed up here, we pray for all of you, whether you've um, typed out those intentions or not, um, but yeah, we you're, you're all in our prayers, your families are in our prayers, um, yeah. That's good. That is good. Yeah, we're <laughs> that, for all you guys. That is good. Um, I also saw something really kind of cool uh, tonight in the news. They were talking about pets and what do you do with your animals. And they were doing drive-through um, like pet exams and, and pet things. So I have to see because our cat, our cat needs shot a shot. She needs a rabies shot. Yes, <laughs> she does. She does, and she needs her claw. She needs declawed, not declawed. No, I wouldn't do that. She needs her nails clipped, which I try, but I'm not very good at it. I'll hold her down. <laughs> you guys have pets. What are you guys <clears throat> doing with your pets? Like, I went out and I bought a, like three big things of litter, and I hoarded I hoarded kitty litter <laughs> that was on toilet paper and an 18 pack of toilet paper. We'll have kids home soon. A kid. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> yeah, it'll get used. We yeah. nothing goes to waste here. Um, so anyway, uh, what are we going to bring up for tomorrow? Are we are we on schedule? No or are we going to kind of wing? We have a schedule. We wing it. Whatever's All right. whatever's whatever yeah. makes your boat float. Sure. If you guys want to talk about anything or have any kind of comments, please. Let us know. Because if you don't, they're going to be dad jokes, and they're going to be really bad. Yeah, I had a few more there, but I just forgot them. It's a good um, thing. Yeah, it probably is a good thing. I don't know where I was going to go with them. So. Well, that's good. Hey, how's St. Lawrence <laughs> doing? I hope I hope you guys are doing well out there. I, we do miss you. <clears throat> we miss everybody out there. Um, I know John Paul used to have some pets out there, but, but they're like John Paul? they were elk. St. Mary's. Yes, down in St. Mary's, they were like. There were literally elk the, the time, well, the last time we were there. The last, last time, time we were there, which has been a while. Yeah. Um, they had six bull elks right in her yard. It was awesome. And uh, Are you still getting those, sister? That was oh, pretty I, nice to see. John Paul. But anyway, there John you go. John Paul, playing a lot of ball with my dog. Didn't hoard dog food, no. Okay. Are you seeing elk? Are they she's bugling? She's on the road a little bit now, but... No, she's at the same... Is she? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, one day, I promise, one day we're, we'll get out there. We'll get out to see you. I keep We keep saying that, and things... Life happens. Life gets in the way. Still having elk and deer in my yard. Like, where does that happen? We get deer <laughs> well, in our backyard. We, we do don't get, get elk. We do we get, get deer, deer here. Yeah, yeah, we still get them in our side. We're at the top here. of State Street, and we see more deer in our backyard than we did living out in Cranesville. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Why don't you hand me that sheet? Because I had something else come to mind here as oh. I was looking at that. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> it might take a second. Yeah, no, that's all right. It, it might not even come to me. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I, I really miss, I really, I do really miss the church. Um, I know one of the local churches actually has... And it's, it's actually quite convenient. It has the monitors up in the corner. So it has all the responses and even what the priest mm -hmm. is saying um, right up there. And it's so convenient so you don't miss any responses. You also know when to stand or uh, sit. Um, it's kind of nice because all the music is up there too. You don't, you don't even have to go... To the book and look it up. It's actually right there uh, on the screen, which is convenient. Mm -hmm. um, I know most churches can't really afford, I suppose, the uh, yeah. the monitors. Sister um, had a good question here. What, what do you John got, Paul. sister? Um, what other books do people recommend? Finish Father Gately's new book. Is that the one on Divine Mercy? <clears throat> um, I know he had one on Divine Mercy. I, we haven't read that yet. Um, right now I'm reading um, St. Teresa of Lisieux's uh, Story of a Soul, and I downloaded, um, this is really hard to get through, um, I downloaded um, uh, the works of Catherine of Siena, um, 
33 days to greater glory. I think you have that one, don't you? Oh no, you have 33 days. Of morning glory. Morning glory. Yeah, that's so. <clears throat> I'll have to check on that. Um, there's a there's a really cool app that a friend of mine um, kind of hooked me up with or told me about, and it's free. It's called Hoopla. H o o p l a. If you don't know about it, um, you download it. If you have a, and it's hooked into all of the library systems um, around the country. And it allows you to take out, like take out, you have to have a library card. So you use your own local library card um, to log in. And then you can actually download um, to your phone or handheld um, six of whatever it is for a month. And then it, 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 everything has a different timeline. Like I think books and audio books are two or three weeks. Um, movies are three days. There's CDs um, that are a couple of days, and it automatically returns them for you. So I was able to download um, quite a few things through um, Hoopla, a lot of books, and a lot of movies, actually unplanned, um, that the story of the Planned Parenthood worker. We saw the movie. We saw, yeah, because I downloaded it on yeah, Hoopla. That, it, yeah. it was actually an excellent movie. It was yeah. excellent. Um, mm -hmm. Which reminds me, there's there's another movie that I saw that's supposed to be coming out mm -hmm. in the near future. Another uh, Catholic movie. I don't remember if anybody remembers listed. Otherwise, I'll have the information for you guys tomorrow. Um, it'll just be a one or two day showing uh, at the local Tinsel Town if it's open. I suppose it's <laughs> yeah, if it's even open in a month or two. Um, but we'll have to check that out. Yeah. Um, so if you're done with, if like you've exhausted all the Netflix and binge just about everything, because like right, yeah. I know right now I'm down to like icky stuff, um, download Hoopla because it's, <clears throat> you can get like new stuff, like Lauren Daigle's music was on that, which really surprised me. Sure. Um, so yeah. Actually we had plans, we have plans to go to the Sight and Sound Theater mm -hmm. um, oh, to down in Esther. Lancaster. Oh. but. I don't know July. if that's actually going to happen now. Hopefully things will clear up by July and they'll be able to uh, still have that. So let us know if anybody else has been to the Sight and Sound Theater. It's like a Taj Mahal and it's all, I believe all they have is these uh, religious plays where there's live animals and they recreate we're, we're, like the whole city. Yeah, it's like it's incredible how many animals that they will have. I mean, they have Noah. Consider how many animals are in Noah. We're I mean, going to see one. Esther, though. We're going to see Esther, and uh, there's another one coming out the following year. It's one to look up online. I've heard nothing but other, you know, good stuff, good stuff about it. Um, hopefully it will be open this year. But as for other books, um, Pope Francis the Deacon, that is the next one on my list. And uh, I, I really have about two or three hundred books on the list, but um, I can't go through them That'd quick enough. Yeah. Um, so keep yeah, out, I like that. Keep Thirty-three me. days to greater glory. Um, I'll have to check that one out. I think my mom has that, so I'll have to go check. I know my mom does. Yeah. My mom does. Um, All right. Yeah. So I guess the takeaway tonight with the feast of the Assun um, Annunciation. Tying in with Father Capon's book, um, what is it that God's calling you to do? We are, and I don't remember if I heard this from the Pope or from um, if it was streamed by the bishop, but somebody made the comment that really we are in a war. It's it is a worldwide war. It's um, they called it like terrorism on a viral level. Um, not that anybody like I don't think you'd think that I I don't think that somebody put it out there. It's just nature, um, but how can we take from the life of Father Capon and apply it to our lives in this time? What is God asking for us um, to do? You know, we're not all called to make masks. We're not all called to um, hand lotion, hand, you know, whatever <laughs> yeah. it is. But God is calling effective. each of us. And maybe it's like something fun, like organizing a teddy bear. Um, Mary said <laughs> yes. Mary said yes and saved the world. There you you can say yes and save the world and help save the world too. <laughs> That's right. We're going to end with an Our Father. Um, 
So let's let's pray that together. Okay, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Author of creation, grant everyone health and peace in mind, body, and spirit. May the Holy Spirit look upon you this day and give you, give you peace, joy, and happiness. Take away any anxieties that you might have because of this coronavirus. May he uh, give you all safe travels if anybody's on the road tonight. And uh, may he protect you from all evils and bring you to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. May God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace, everyone. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. <laughs> all right. We'll see you guys tomorrow night. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.